Welcome to your virtual ceremony celebration. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. We are delighted that we've been able to hold this presentation for you. Before we begin, we have some housekeeping information. We will start today's ceremony with an introduction from Vice-Chancellor Professor Tim Blackman. We will then continue with the presentation of graduates and to conclude, there will be a personal address from the Vice-Chancellor. Depending on the device you're watching the broadcast on today, you'll be able to change your screen view. We would suggest putting your screen in presenter view to view all videos and live content in full screen. You can select gallery view if you want to see everyone in your breakout room, but it will make the videos appear smaller as one grid screen. Please enable your microphone and keep it unmuted at your end so that you can join in the round of applause during and after each group's names are announced. The technical team will ensure your audio will not be broadcast outside of these moments. We would like to remind everyone that today's event is being recorded and it is currently being live streamed on YouTube. The recording will also be available after the event. Thank you for taking part. We hope you enjoy it. also to these problems are our plans for a university of the air. It's designed to provide an opportunity for those who for one reason or another have not been able to take advantages of higher education. Let's say you're one of those people. One of those who think where you start in life shouldn't limit where you go. One of those who think a university shouldn't just be, well, a university. Let's say you're one of us, and together we are the open university. Open to all of us, all of the time. Not some of us, some of the time. We are a movement of millions, a mission of one. We are disruptors, occasional troublemakers, game changers. We are the fuel for imagination, chasing comets, making the impossible, possible. We are restless in our drive to see progress that touches us all, inspiring students to become ministers and midwives, barristers and teachers, tech entrepreneurs, business gurus and more. Our cause goes beyond being an innovative way of learning and our future lies in continuing to build that cause. We are the people who open up the future of learning. This is how we shape the future. Let's say you are one of those people who believe what we believe. One of those excited by possibility. Let's say you are one of us. We can't wait to open up millions of futures. And with your help, we can. Hi, my name is Sarah Jones and I'm the Students Association President and I'd like to say how proud we are of your achievements. Like you, I have studied and completed my studies with the OU. Whilst the achievement is down to my hard work, like you, I couldn't have accomplished what I've done without the support of my friends, my family, my fellow students, my tutors and the staff at the OU. To be an OU student means balancing work, 
home, family life and studying and caring responsibilities to reach your goals is a superhuman feat. Underneath your graduation gowns and smart clothes, you all wear superhero outfits. I know many of you will have done what I did and stayed up late or got up in the wee small hours to get the final TMA submitted or tried hard to find a space and time to do remote exams. Managing the difficulties of studying alongside the extra pressures that work and life bring means your achievements must be celebrated in style. Oh, you students are remarkable. Your accomplishments overwhelm me with pride. Hearing your stories of the things that you've done come through and the things and life that has happened around you for you to be able to claim your degree. Having babies, losing loved ones, changing work and supporting families and getting that support back on the road to your degree are amazing. Today, we celebrate your success and the immense proud that you should feel in yourselves. Graduates, we salute you and we raise a glass to you. Congratulations and welcome to the family. Hi, I'm Martha and I'm your Chancellor. And I just wanted to say well done and congratulations on reaching the amazing milestone that is an Open University degree. There have been many things about this horrible pandemic that we've all been wrestling with, but I can honestly say that not being able to do degree ceremonies and meet all the amazing students at our university has been one of the big losses for me personally. I really hope that we'll be able to see each other face to face again soon. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say that you have done an incredible thing. People talk about part-time learners for the Open University, but I think we all know you are actually double-time learners, often holding down jobs, often looking after family members, caring for children, dealing with tough circumstances in your own lives. So congratulations, hallelujah, you made it. You are going to go on and do incredible and remarkable things with what you've learnt. This is just the first stage of your journey and you should be immensely proud to be ever, forever part of a network of people who have completed Open University degrees. Have a great celebration. Good luck. Stay safe. Stay sane. Good morning, everyone. And to today's virtual degree ceremony. It's wonderful that you're joining us and I hope you're all well and safe and enjoy the ceremony. By the authority given in the statutes of the Open University, it's my great pleasure to declare this ceremony open for the presentation of graduates for their degrees and qualifications. I'm delighted to welcome you all to today's events, our graduates, your families and your friends, and friends and supporters of the university. Each year in more normal times, we present graduates for their qualifications at ceremonies in towns and cities throughout England and in Belfast, Glasgow, Dublin and Cardiff. And today we're just as excited to celebrate your success in this virtual ceremony. You're graduating from the largest university, not only in the UK, but in Europe, known across the world for the quality of our courses and the determination and commitment of our students. The use over 53 years is down to what you, our graduates, achieve, often against the odds, and not just the qualification you're presented for today, but the difference that you'll make with it in the years ahead. So it goes without saying that this is a very important occasion in the life of you, your families and your loved ones, as well as the university and my colleagues who I hope you'll feel have nurtured and supported you through your studies. Please do celebrate your achievement and post messages or photos to social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Use the hashtag OUFamily to share with many others. We'll now see the presentation of graduates able to join us today, which will be followed by my personal address to you all. Good morning and welcome to today's virtual ceremony presentation. My name's Jane Shepherd. I'm one of the managers in the Ceremony Centre and also an Associate Lecturer of the Open University. And it's my great pleasure to present graduates for their qualifications today. I'd also like to welcome graduates, family, friends and staff who are watching today's live stream. I'm delighted you're joining us to celebrate the success and achievements of our students. In a moment, I'll read out the names of each group of students. Graduates, you'll appear on screen in a group and your audio will be turned on. Please make sure your microphone is live so we can all hear your reactions and applause at the end of your group and at the end of the ceremony. 
We hope that everyone watching will join in as well. Vice Chancellor, I shall now present graduates who have gained higher degrees and have been able to join us today. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Alan Gill. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Valentin Muhaksari. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Daniel Taylor. For the degree of Master of Business, Business Administration, Leadership Practice, Emily Scott. For the degree of Master of Science in Computing, Software Engineering, with distinction, James Bailey. For the degree of Master of Science in Environmental Management, Francis Wanyama. For the degree of Master of Science in Systems Thinking in Practice, Thomas Benzi. Congratulations, everyone. Well done. Well done, Francis. <laughs> I shall now present those graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Classical Studies and Religious Studies with honours, Hayley Brett. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, Accounting with First Class Honours, Hui Emery. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, Economics, with honours, Gary Phillips. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, Innovation and Enterprise, with honours, Tatiana Chiwaka Parfani. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, Leadership Practice, with honours, Yaisen Matewu. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, with honours, Pauline Burns. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, with honours, Olga Filtrake. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Studies, Accounting, with honours, Joanna Raluca Davidescu. Congratulations, everyone. Well done. Well done. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who've gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with honours, Lynn Dartnell. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with honours, Monica Greenaway. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with honours, Michelle Miller. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with honours, Yuri Taylor. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Classical Studies with First Class Honours, Margaret Chin Wolf. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Classical Studies with honours, Eloise Hastings. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Classical Studies with honours, Hannah Elborn. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Criminology and Psychology with honours, Fabrizio Fioroni. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Design and Innovation, with first class honours, Oluwamayowa Balogun. <laughs> well done. Well done, everyone, in fact. Well done. <laughs> well done, everyone. Well done. Well done, well done. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood with First Class Honours, Daniela Wells. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Early Years with Honours, 
Jenna Colber. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies, Primary, with First Class Honours, Amanda Ghent. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies, Primary, with First Class Honours, Louise Nicholas. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies, Primary, with First Class Honours, Carleen Palladino Brown. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies, Primary, with First Class Honours, Nita Patel. For the degree of Art, sorry, for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies, Primary, with First Class Honours, Natasha Smith. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies, Primary, with Honours, Brody Gerrans. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies, Primary, with Honours, Sarah Grace. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies, Primary, with Honours, Danny Priest. Congratulations, everyone. Well done, everyone. <laughs> I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Language and Literature with honours, Duncan Daniels. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature and Creative Writing with first class honours, Jonathan Lee. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature with First Class Honours, Deborah Olds. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature with Honours, Lisa Huffen. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care with First Class Honours, Amy Morehouse. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care with honours, Abina Bentel. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care with honours, Pamela Nachaluwe. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History with first class honours, Daniel Moran. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History, with honours, Claire Keenleyside. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History, with honours, James Strudwick. Well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who've gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. Of Arts in History with honours, Claire Keenleyside. Oh, no, For the no. degree of Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, Art History with first class honours, Andrew Cunningham. James <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, Creative Writing and History with honours, Mark Belcham. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, Philosophy, with First Class Honours, Francis Mann. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in International Studies, with Honours, Carol Balcom. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Language Studies, with English and Spanish, with First Class Honours, René Contreras. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Practice with honours, Joanne Moore. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, Politics with honours, Charlotte Roycroft Davis. Yay. For, the degree of For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences with first class honours, Diane Mortara. 
<laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with first class honours, Andrew Barnes. Yeah. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with honours, Janet Groom. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with honours, Emily Ma. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with honours, Maria Miranda Sharping. Congratulations, everyone. Yay. Well done, everyone. I shall now present graduates who've gained Bachelor of Laws degrees and those who've gained Bachelor of Science degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with first class honours, Sean O'Hare. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with honours, Shannon Busley. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with honours, Christopher Hockley. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with honours, Galap Pogue. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with honours, Kelly Hunt. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with honours, Andrew Miles. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, with honours, Paul O'Neill. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Criminology and Psychological Studies, with honours, Nicole Barham. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Criminology and Psychological Studies, with honours, Carla Gregory. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Criminology and Psychological Studies, with honours, Amy Jones. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Forensic Psychology, with first class honours, Nicole Woodward. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Forensic Psychology, with honours, Chloe Harry. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Forensic Psychology, with honours, Jacob Hennigan. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Health and Social Care, with honours, Doreen Arhin. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and its Learning, with honours, Chibuzo Mora. Yay! Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Well done, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who gained Bachelor of Science degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling, with first class honours, Hannah Calver. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling, with honours, Martin Phillips. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology, with first class honours, Florence Avery. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology, with first class honours, Amanda Cooper. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology, with first class honours, Sarah Rose. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with honours, Maria de Souza Ferreira. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with honours, Amy Hunter. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with honours, Emily Carney. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Social Psychology with first class honours, Penny Robinson. Yay! <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Sport, Fitness and Coaching with honours, Natalie Clements. Yay! 
<laughs> well done, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, everyone. <laughs> I shall now present graduates who've gained Bachelor of Science degrees and those who've gained Foundation degrees and Diplomas of Higher Education. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with First Class Honours, Josefina Fernandez Bria. Thank you. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with First Class Honours, Ruth Duncan. Hey, well done. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with honours, Aisha Khan. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with honours, Hossein Mogimi. For a foundation degree in counselling, Tandiwe Zungu. For a foundation degree in nursing associate practice, Fulashade Yusuf Adewuyi. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Childhood and Youth Studies, Cara Davis. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Criminology and Law, Laura Mitchell. For the Diploma of Higher Education Open, Dawn Ewington. <laughs> For the Diploma of Higher Education Open, Charlotte McLaughlin. For the Diploma of Higher Education Open, Gemma Morgan. Congratulations to all of you. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Graduates, there will now follow a personal message from the Vice Chancellor, Professor Tim Blackman. Please keep your microphone on as we come back to you for a huge round of applause following this address, which will conclude today's ceremony. Well done, everyone. Thank you, Jane. Well, uh, firstly, and most importantly, congratulations. Uh, thank you for joining us on this very special day to recognize what you've all achieved. Each of you is truly extraordinary. I believe that today you are the most amazing body of graduates anywhere in the world. You've believed in yourselves and we've believed you all of us, your dedicated associate lecturers, your advisors, the expert academics who write your courses, the designers and technologists who bring them to life on the screen, and all the professional services that make the OU what it is, which is second to none. And now you've shown what that belief can achieve. Almost every one of you studied alongside other responsibilities and commitments, often while in demanding jobs with children or as a carer, and I know it's sometimes been tough. That would be the case in normal times, let alone getting through a pandemic. No wonder employers tell us that what they like about OU graduates is that you're self-starters and determined. You've juggled study and deadlines with many other demands, but you know, I have been told that there is one thing that's harder than being an OU student, and that's living with one. When we started back in 1969, our pioneer students and staff really were taking a step into the unknown, putting their faith in a university that was using new methods of teaching that would be open to everyone. We wanted our students to choose us, not us select them. What matters to us is that you're ready to study and above all, that you've got the ambition to learn. Until you progress to postgraduate or research degrees, the only question we ask you for most of our courses is, do you want to learn? You all said yes, and that gave us our mission. Many thought the OU would fail, but instead it's now one of the most successful universities in the world with over 2 million who've studied with us. That's not just a university, it's a social movement. It's you, our students, who make the OU, but we also owe a huge debt of gratitude to the vision of the university's founders. Foremost among them was Jenny Lee, to whom Prime Minister Harold Wilson gave the job of setting up the university and a woman whose own journey from a Scottish mining community to Minister of State shaped in no small measure what the OU is today. Lee believed that the OU had to be a university for everyone, rich or poor, man or woman, black or white, 
and it would do that while maintaining the highest standards. No one would be able to criticize the OU for dumbing down. You, our graduates, have achieved these high standards of scholarship and professional practice that Jenny Lee was determined we'd maintain while opening up that opportunity to more people than ever before. And she was determined too that we would also be a respected research university, currently ranked among the top third of research universities in the UK, making discoveries, inventing new products and methods, enabling us to understand each other better and to live together peacefully and without endangering our planet. Curiosity and experimentation are what drive us. And I'm so glad that you chose to join that most human of adventures to learn and live, as it says on the university's crest. Some of you joined us because you were curious. Many were looking to, to advance or to change your career. You'll find OU graduates in every employment sector often at the highest level, and you'll find thousands of businesses started by OU graduates. We've recently measured the economic impact of the OU. Every pound we spend produces a return of more than six pounds. Most of that return is the higher lifetime earnings that OU graduates achieve, but there's a social return as well. Graduates are on average healthier and happier than non-graduates more likely to participate in their communities or in politics, and much less likely to be taken in by misinformation. And the OU has a social mission to bring learning to people whoever and wherever they are. That's why we partner with the BBC to produce programmes like Hospital or Blue Planet 2. It's why we make available hundreds of free short courses on Open Learn and on Future Learn taken by millions of people and for many, a lifeline during this pandemic. Across England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland, we work with employers, community organisations and trade unions to reach people where they are so that they can take their first steps into higher education. We work with carers organisations, the armed forces, prisons, job centres, colleges and schools, constantly innovating in how we provide higher education. If you're an Uber driver, for example, Uber will pay for you and your family to study with the OU. And if you watch Springwatch on the BBC, the garden survey of insect pollinators that Chris Packham invited viewers to take part in was run by the OU's award-winning citizen science web platform called Inquire. Completion of your qualification means you join a community of open university alumni around the world. You can continue to keep up with news, access career advice, or come back to study. The motto on the university's crest, learn and live, is a call to action. To learn, and by learning, to really live. Please do good with what you've learned, and encourage others to learn and live as well. As you sign off today, you'll hopefully become an ambassador for the Open University, and all that is remarkable about our institution and what it stands for its values of social and environmental justice, its belief in inclusion and diversity, and above all, its vision to be open to people, places, methods, and ideas. Do share your experience with others. Let them know what your journey has meant to you and what it could mean for them. We're hugely proud of you. Well done, you're all amazing. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Congratulations. Many congratulations. Well done. Well done. Many congratulations. Yeah. Very well done. Many congratulations. Well done. Many congratulations. Well done, everybody. Well done. Many congratulations. Well done, everyone. Well done. Many congratulations. Very well done. That concludes today's celebrations. Thank you for taking part. We hope you enjoyed it. 
Do please stay in touch with us via our alumni, careers and students association teams. On behalf of the Ceremony Centre and everyone at the Open University, we wish you every success for the future. <laughs>